What's good, everybody? It's Big Game James, man. Back in the building. We in these streets. We in these streets. Just got off work. Y'all remember these, right? Sorry, I didn't mean to crunch in your face, but y'all remember eating them as a kid? I'm still a kid at heart. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Shout out to my girl. She went and donated some blood at the at the bank, and she, she got me a fresh Godzilla and King Kong, the new movie coming out. Got the new shirt. Shout out to you, babe. Thanks for the shirt. I appreciate you. But I just want to talk real quick about, uh, there ain't really nothing to talk about in the Dallas streets right now, but we hear about Ezekiel Elliott, possible Dalvin Cook. Ezekiel Elliott reunion, possible Dalvin Cook. Here are my quick thoughts on that. First, when I did the Dak video, you know, it's my opinion of how I feel. I don't mean I'm hating. It's how I feel. With this Ezekiel Elliott thing, in my opinion, I don't want Ezekiel Elliott back. Okay, I feel like it's a Jason Witten situation when he retired a year, went in the booth, came back, and he did nothing. Nothing. You know, like 58 catches for like 600 yards with no kind of impact to Dallas. And he wanted to come back another year, and Mike McCarthy was like, hell no. Nah. I feel like that's the situation with Ezekiel Elliott. Now, I was cool when, when they moved on from Ezekiel Elliott. I'm still cool. Zeke Elliott had a tremendous career in Dallas. Tremendous career in Dallas. Zeke, this, I mean, you can't even say nothing bad about Zeke Elliott, dog. He, he he went hard with Dallas, so this ain't no diss to Zeke Elliott, but that ship done sailed, in my opinion. He didn't have a bad career, a bad year in uh, New England. Had a, like 184 carries, 680-some yards, three and a half yards of carry. Not great three touchdowns. Now, <clears throat> here's the thing. If Zeke Elliott is the battering ram inside that 10-yard line, then how come he only had three touchdowns? I know Bill Belichick and all that, but if you're the battering ram and you can get inside that 10-yard line, then why Ezekiel didn't have more than three touchdowns? He don't have the speed he used to, and his body is beat up. That man's had almost 2,100 carries. That's a lot of carries, man. That's a lot of carries. And I just feel like you, Ezekiel Elliott will be a progress stopper at this point. You signed, re-signed Rico Dotto. I wish you would have signed, re-signed re Tony Pollard. But maybe that young running back wouldn't have got a chance because they're going to draft a running back this year, right? I don't know how high, but let's say they draft a running back in these first three rounds. Well, if they draft a running back in these first rounds, he got to play. He got to play. He got to play a lot. So what would be the purpose of bringing Ezekiel Elliott back? You got Rico Dowd out just for short yardage situation. So what are you paying him? Ezekiel Elliott going to come back just for short yardage situation? No, he's going to want to run the ball. Ezekiel Elliott's going to want to run the ball. He's not going to just want to be a... Um, 10 yard. Once we get inside the 10, we bring Ezekiel Elliott. No, he gonna want to play. Ezekiel Elliott ain't gonna want to sit that bench. He gonna want to play. And to me, if you draft a young running back in those first three rounds and you are re-signing Ezekiel Elliott and Rico Dotto, the front office is gonna feel, to me, an obligation to play Ezekiel Elliott. And in my opinion, that would be progress stopping because your rookie needs to play. And Rico Dotto still young, and I don't think he had a bad year. He just didn't get the opportunities. We know he's injury prone. We know that. So there's caution. I get it. But I just feel like that ship has sailed with Ezekiel Elliott. I feel like he's not going to have that in, kind of impact in Dallas. He's not going to have an impact in Dallas if he comes back. And what, you going to sign him on a one-year deal? You ain't signed him more than one year. He's going to be the, the guy that's going to take you over the top? I don't believe that. So I personally don't want Ezekiel Elliott to come back because I feel like he would be a progress stopper at this point. And I just feel like you just had too many carries and, you know, you, you need to let that young guy play, especially if you draft a new young running back in those first three rounds. Now, Dalvin Cook, 
I would think about Dalvin Cook, and here's the reason. He didn't have a good year in New York. We know that. He went over to the Ravens. You should have came to Dallas. But Dallas choked. But he didn't come to Dallas. Probably thinking, I have better chance in Baltimore than Dallas. <laughs> now you want to come to Dallas. Uh, I mean... I'm a little more higher on Dalvin Cook than Ezekiel Elliott because Dalvin Cook and his career, Ezekiel Elliott and his career, you got a damn near 2,100 carries. Dalvin Cook has 1,300 carries. Now, last year was not good, but the Jets already had Brees Hall. Okay? That's their guy. Dalvin Cook was signed as insurance for Brees Hall coming back from that knee injury. He came back fully from that knee injury, so there was no need for Dalvin Cook. Right? Dalvin Cook's 28 years old. The year prior to the Jets, all a thousand yard seasons, damn near. So last year, it wasn't like you fell off, is they had Brees Hall. Brees Hall is their running back. He's a dog running back. Brees Hall's nice. Okay, let's not play like Brees Hall is not nice. Dalvin Cook wasn't gonna get no carries over Brees Hall. That would make no damn sense to you and or to anybody else, right? 1,100 yards the year prior, and he has more speed than Ezekiel Elliott. I think his speed hasn't dropped off like Ezekiel Elliott's has. So I'll be more open to look at a Dalvin Cook than Ezekiel Elliott because of the speed factor, the less carries factor. You got 700 less carries than Ezekiel Elliott, and you came off 1,100-yard season prior to going over to the Jets. I don't feel like you fell off like that in that one year. And Dallas still needs some speed back there. And he offers more speed than a Rico Dowdell still, in my opinion. So I would be more open to look at a Dalvin Cook than a Zeke Elliott. Less carries. I feel like more speed. And I don't feel like a Dalvin Cook will be a progress stopper, in my opinion. Um, because you can use that speed element anytime. He's not going to be your short yardage back. You can use that speed back. So I'll be more open for a Dalvin Cook than a Zeke Elliott. But I feel you don't even need to get a Dalvin Cook. Just get that young hoss and run him and have Rico as the backup. I'm cool with that. But if you're talking about two running backs that they brought talked about, Dalvin Cook and Ezekiel Elliott coming to the Dallas Cowboys, my choice would be Dalvin Cook or Ezekiel Elliott because I don't feel like Ezekiel Elliott will have any kind of impact coming back to Dallas. I feel like Dalvin Cook won't have a huge impact either. But I feel like he had more impact because he offers more of a speed factor. And I feel like that's what the Cowboys need. I know we need somebody inside the 10, but that's, hey, I feel like Rico Dowdell could have handled that and could have did that, but they didn't give him the opportunity. So I don't feel like that's really his fault. Less opportunities, less things to do. So just draft that young, young running back. You got Rico Dowdell. You got Deuce Vaughn still on the roster. Roll with that. But if you had two players to pick out of Dalvin Cook and Ezekiel Elliott, I'm going to go with Dalvin Cook for the reasons I just explained to you. So that's just my quick thoughts on it. Here's what it is. Big Gang Dines. Excuse me. I'm out. Peace.